So is an older but higher spec Chromebook perhaps the way to go with your next Chromebook buy? So similar to the Lenovo that I showed you earlier in the week, today unboxing, if I get it the right way around, an Acer Chromebook. This is a 2021 model. We'll check out when it was actually manufactured though, because it could have been much more recent, like the Lenovo was. But it's a higher spec, more premium Chromebook. So this is the Acer Chromebook 515. So the 5 series being the step up for Acer from their more budget friendly 3 series. So let's have a look and get into it. So it's not sealed down, it's just opening right away. So yeah, this is a refurbished Chromebook. I posted again on X like I usually do earlier in the week. You may have seen the post. So I paid just £152 for this as a very good refurb on eBay from Tab Retail. That's the equivalent of about $195 US dollars. So let's just take this out and first off just show you the Chromebook very quickly and then we'll look in a bit more detail. So here it is, I think this is called Steel Grey. It's the Chromebook 515. Um, it's a, a decent spec, so it's an 11th gen Core i3 processor, 8 gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage. And I think in a minute we're gonna see it's got some nice features like the fingerprint reader on it as well. So we'll come back to the Chromebook in just one second. I'll just show you what else we've got going on in the box. So it's nice, it's got the original wrap um, and then there's a load of original paperwork again that's sealed on it so won't go through all that you're not going to need it and then we've got the plug and the 45 watt USB-C charger so they've actually sent a Lenovo charger with it so I guess that's not a problem and kind of to be expected as possible with a, a refurb Chromebook first time I've seen it but there we go. So we've got a Lenovo charger who will do the exact same job. And, ah, okay, I've got a mouse again. So you may have seen with the Acer 314 the other week, that came with the mouse. I think that means the same thing again. This is X Argos stock because they have the exclusive on the bundle with the Acer mouse. So yeah, I'll flash that up on screen if, uh, if I can see it. And you've got a battery. Uh, and a guide telling you how to use your mouse. So the battery's kept separate, that's a good idea, but yeah, it's just a double A battery for the mouse. Right, let's get this out of the way and show you the Chromebook. The build quality feels nice, so you have got an aluminium lid, but the rest of the build is plastic. I'll flash the weight up on the screen now. It doesn't feel particularly heavy or light, but remember it is a 15.6 inch larger Chromebook. So yeah, it feels about what I was kind of expecting when I picked it up. I'll just show you guys the ports for the connectivity that you've got on here as well. So on the right hand side of the Chromebook here, we've got the battery charge light indicator, a micro SD card slot, a full size USB-A port, the first of two USB-C ports for power in and display out and your peripherals. And we've got a Kensington, I think it's the nano port if you need to lock this one down. Let's move over to the left hand side of the Chromebook. You've got that second USB-C port, so dual USB-C, so you can charge from either side of your desk, which is really handy. You've got the HDMI port, I believe that'll be version 1.4b, and you've got the headset microphone combo jack for audio. Cosmetically, um, it's looking okay. There are some signs of use. There is one scratch that I've noticed just here on the top, if you can see that. Uh, by my thumb. So yeah, a little bit of wear, I guess that's to be expected. I've probably just been spoiled with uh, more Chromebooks that have just been brand new returns. Um, it's obviously just a Chromebook, it's not Chromebook Plus. So Chromebook Plus came along a lot later than this did. I've checked the manufacture date on the bottom and this was uh, made in October 2021. So it's a 2021 model manufactured in that year. So it's about, you know, coming up three years old now. Um, on the bottom of the Chromebook, as well as that information, there are vents. So as I say, it's got a core i3 11th gen processor, so should be nice and snappy. Um, there's also grills for the, uh, for the speakers under here. So sadly, the speakers are underneath. Always a bit frustrating on a large Chromebook, like a 15.6 inch uh, one like this, where the speakers are underneath firing the sound down rather than up at the... the uh, 
well, up from the keyboard deck when you're using it would have been better. Um, interesting, I haven't seen this sort of uh, sticker in this style for the kind of, you know, void your warranty if you remove it. So I don't know if that's come from Acer or if that's been put on um, by Tab Retail who refurbished it, but interesting to see. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, so getting into the keyboard deck, uh, just show you first of all, so yeah, we've got the, the Core i3 uh, sticker of course, and it's got eight gig of RAM and 128 gig uh, NVMe storage. So yeah, really nice there. Interesting, this sticker on it. So uh, I know there was a big sort of push on Minecraft being free towards the end of last year and that ran sometime before. So I guess that was coming on um, packaged Chromebooks. It doesn't necessarily suggest this was sort of an in-store demo or anything, but always a possibility. And then over on the right, yeah, just giving us some of the spec there. So it's Wi-Fi 6, the USB-C ports, I'll show you in a minute, 3.2. There is HDMI, um, probably version 1.2, I'll double check. And they're claiming that the speakers have got some smart amplifier. Sure, they're still on the bottom. And it's got a, a Gorilla Glass coated touchpad, which, yeah, let's just see. So yeah, touchpad feels good. Uh, no looseness to it, nice and smooth. Do like Aces uh, touchpads, the more premium ones feel really good. Uh, keyboard as well, so you've got a full size keyboard being this larger Chromebook, you've got a dedicated number pad. Uh, yeah, key travel feels quite good. Show you. So yeah, I'd say medium to sort of deeper travel perhaps, but yeah, feels solid. And again, uh, like the Nova I showed you this week, this one's got a backlit keyboard as well. So I'll demo that or show you in just a bit. Um, and then you've got an opening for the, uh, the ventilation for the processor and the, the fans at the top of the keyboard deck as well. So yeah, all looking good there. The one sort of bonus feature that I haven't mentioned or shown you is the fingerprint scanner. So that's just here on the keyboard deck. So really nice for quickly unlocking your Chromebook, you know, similar to how you'd use your phone. So a nice premium feature being the, the 515. Came notice with the screen, it hasn't powered on. So it might just be that we need to uh, plug into power just to kick it into life. Doesn't necessarily mean that the, uh, the battery's dead as we saw on the Lenovo earlier in the week as well. So we'll test that out. I'll get it back up to my desk and we'll take a look. So back at the desk and one thing I forgot to show you was that the screen does go back 180 degrees. So it's nice that it lies flat. It's obviously not convertible. And there is a webcam privacy slider at the top. It's just a 720p webcam, so nothing too exciting there. Right, so let's see if we can get some power onto this. Again, I'm gonna use the Charmast USB-C power bank that I showed you in my video earlier in the week. So let's just plug that in for ease, just into the USB-C, of course. And we'll see what life we get out of the Chromebook. So that power LED light on the right hand side has turned amber, so it's charging. I'm gonna hold down the power button and see if we get powered up okay. Yeah, booting up. So yeah, started up no problem. It's charging and powering from the Charmast power bank because I've only got 1% battery. So yeah, it's completely flat. So it's taking some charge running up from there. I'm gonna get set up in Chrome OS. Uh, if you want to see how to do that in the walkthrough, you can check the video on the Lenovo that I published earlier in the week. Otherwise, I'll come back to you in a minute and we'll go through some useful checks on this, like the battery condition, and we'll check how long it's gonna get updates for too. So I lied during setup, I thought I'd just show you the one thing that's different, which of course is the setup of the fingerprint reader. So you can see the prompt I've got on screen now. And I think in fact, I just yet yeah, start to add it. You can see it's really similar to the sort of Android interface for how this works. And you just keep popping your finger down on there until it's read the whole fingerprint. And then you get again, like an Android on your phone, you've got the option to add another. I'm just gonna leave it at the one and say done. So into Chrome OS now, and we're gonna do a few checks as I screen record here. So click down in the bottom right and click on the settings cog up here. 
And the first thing we're going to do is go into About Chrome OS on the left hand side and we'll see what build we're on. So we're on version 116 of Chrome OS, which is probably, I guess, getting on for uh, sort of maybe 10 months old now. So we're on Chrome OS 126 at the moment. 127 should be just around the corner. So this has obviously been sat for a while, but yep, that makes complete sense. Um, would have been nice for it to have been updated just before it gets sent out as a refurb, but that's kind of splitting hairs. Uh, so the next check we're going to do is to click on additional details down here. And yeah, just as thought, like the Lenovo running a uh, 11th gen core processor, you're getting updates to Chrome OS through to June 2031. So some pretty decent value for money, I would say, with that. Um, let's do one more check. Let's go back and we're going to click on diagnostics, look at the battery health. Well, okay, the cycle count, 249. Um, the good news is 100% health, but yeah, 249 cycles, that's going to take the award for the highest cycle count Chromebook um, that I've had as a refurb, but I guess it's to be expected. Um, that along with the, the label on it for Minecraft um, on the keyboard deck. I'm wondering, has this actually been a demo unit in store? If it's Curry's, that makes more sense. In the UK, Curry's is a physical store that would have Chromebooks and laptops out on display. On the flip side of that though, would they be plugged in all the time? So maybe not generate such a high cycle count. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do give this video a thumbs up for a like if you've enjoyed it. Please do consider a subscribe because there'll be a full review coming. And in the meantime, there's another Chromebook video on screen for you to watch next. Cheers.